Hey guys, this is Patrick from the Dynamites.com, and basically what I'm going to show you today is the process that I go through to get my comic ready to be posted online. And what I do is I uh, sketch all my comics in blue, and I ink them by hand, and then I upload them. You know, after I edit them and, everything, and added all the font in, I upload them right up to my comic. And so here's a, this is a one that is not set up yet, but it's going to look like this when I'm done. So you can see that all the lines look darker. You don't see that blue sketching anymore. And so uh, basically what I'm going to do is um, set up an action. So that way when I go in and let me delete this real quick so I'll start over. I'm going to set up an action. That way I can have the Photoshop show, you know, save what I do. And I can just hit a button next time when I do another comic. And it's going to do all the same steps for me and save me a lot of time. Because the problem with, you know, with webcomics is you got to do, you know, eventually you got to get to the point where you do about five comics a week. And if you're having to draw them, do all this work, it's, it's not going to be any fun. And I only do like once, you know, one a week. I was trying to do two, but, you know, I don't know. It's just too much work. So I'm just uh, basically trying to streamline my process at this point until I can get faster at editing the comics and drawing them better faster. So I'm going to name this action... Uh, you know, something like comic press or, you know, comic uh, prep. There we go. And just uh, hit record. So you see over here, it's right here, and you see the little red buttons lit up now. And so from here on out, it's going to record everything I do. So that's a really good tip. So nobody told me to do that. And this would save me time. So I got all these, you know, lines. Um, I like to duplicate the background. The original scan, so that way it's going to be, um, I'll be able to, to look back on it and see what I what I did, and then I can also see what dialogue is supposed to go in each box because that's what I write in blue, and then I I go and redraw the box, you know, the wind, you know, the voice bubbles or whatever. So this will be pretty cool. So what we're going to do is do a. First of all, we're going to get rid of this blue, so we're going to do a level, not a level adjustment, but a hue saturation adjustment, and. Um, let me move this to the side so you can kind of see everything. Else. This is probably the best place for it. I'm going to go go over here to blue, and I'm going to take the saturation and turn it down, take the lightness, and turn it all the way up. And there's still some stuff in here, so it's probably like cyans that are messing it up. And this one here, I kind of like scribbled too hard. You want to use, you want to really use um, the blue lead really lightly, and um, otherwise it'll get kind of dark like this. So I'm going to have to go in here and touch this up, so it's going to waste my time. And I'll turn the lightness up on the cyans. I'm taking care of more of it. Saturation all the way down. Yeah, that's pretty good. And so even though there's, there's sketch marks here still, I, could, I think I'm going to be able to get rid of them with the uh, level tool that I'm going to use next. And you can see over here in our actions uh, window, it saved you know what we did. So except for it actually, you know, when I selected the layers, it's going to do that too. So I can, I can actually go back in and delete steps that I don't need to make it faster. Uh, let's see. So let's go over here to the image. We'll go to adjustments and go to levels. And I always bring the blacks really up because I like to see how dark I can get it because it just looks a lot better. But you don't want to go too much because then it'll look really messed up or it'll be too gray. So you got to kind of find a happy medium and that's kind of up to you. And I just, I kind of go right after the hump. You can see that there's a little hump right here. And uh, then I'm just going to bring my whites up. Uh, I don't bring them up that much usually, but for this one, I'm going to have to bring it up a lot because there's a lot of uh, sketch marks. And so that kind of takes care of all that crap in the background. So I'm just going to hit OK. And uh, as you can see here, it looks a lot better. we got Steve and Larry here, you know, pointing guns at each other. And there's, uh, you know, not a lot of crap to worry about. Another thing I noticed, too, is uh, when I do that, and when I do a scan, I do it all in color anyway, so I can, that way the blue is still available. There's kind of like a red tinge and like kind of a yellow tinge to the uh, line work. And I want to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a uh, quick little mode adjustment. So I want to go to image again. And I'm going to go to mode and go to grayscale. And I don't want to flatten it right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and discard the... I don't know. I don't even know what this is. So I'm just going to... Dis I always hit discard. It doesn't really affect me. So, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. And the lines... Whenever you do a level adjustment, the lines kind of get a little, uh, little chunky. And... Um, as you can see there, they kind of look bad. So I'm going to soften them up a little bit. I'm going to do a Gaussian blur. So I want to go over here to my filters. And then I want to go to um, blur. And it's going to be under 
Gaussian blur. So I'm going to do that real quick. I always do 0.5 pixels. Makes everything super blurry. But even then, you can zoom out. And at the level you'll be viewing it, you won't notice how blurry it is. Um, but what I do is, even though you don't notice it, I'm still going to do a sharpen uh, adjustment. So I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to sharpen. And it's just like the first one, sharpen. And that sharpens up the lines. But they don't look chunky like they did before. Yeah, they're kind of a little bit chunky. But whatever. Um, oh, oops. You want to invert that? Um, I want to zoom out. So that's that's one. That's a couple of the steps that I mainly do. Let's see if I remember anything else that I was going to show you guys. Um, it's always a good idea to crop stuff. But yeah, that's basically it. Actually, yeah, it does it. And then I have this other thing right here. Uh, as you can see on the bottom, it says the dynamites.com on each one of my comics. And it says copyright Patrick Kelly and Nick Gallup. I actually have that as something that that automatically does that, and so basically, if I just as a, while it's recording, if I just make a text um, box and I type in whatever, and then you know click out of it, it's going to save that and in the in the uh, actions. And so then each time I do this, it's going to have um, it's going to set up all the levels for me. It's going to get rid of all the the line work, and it's going to put in my my copyright and uh, webcomic information on the bottom. And so that's some stuff that I don't want to have to do all the time. But I also want to keep my comics consistent. I always want them to have the same kind of copyright on the, on the bottom. And so this has really been helping out. So it's uh, looking pretty good. Um, then basically uh, what I'll do is I'll add the font in. You know. Oh. And I have like a custom font in. Um, I just have like comic commando that I use. Um, I probably could make my own. But I haven't had enough time to, to really deal with that. And at this point, I probably want to just hit the uh, stop button and not record this part. You only want to record the preparation part of it. Because when you put this in here, you know, each comic isn't going to have the same font and the same uh, dialogue. And so, I'm, gonna just get, I'm just going to give you guys an idea of what I do each time. So, I got that in there, blah, blah, blah. And it's all looking pretty good. And then, so, I don't actually draw the voice bubbles in like I used to. I used to draw the voice bubbles in on on the actual art, but then I found that when I wanted to change something, I would have all this extra room in the voice bubble, or I would run out of room in the voice bubble and I have to make that font super small, which made it hard to read. And so now what I do is I have a Wacom tablet, booyah, and uh, I do all my line work afterwards. And so I like to, what I do is I just make a, a sweet little blank layer, and I rename it voice bubbles, or VB because I'm lazy. And just grab my Wacom tablet. I can find my pen somewhere. Oh yeah. Here it is. It's Wacom time. And then just grab the brush up real quick. And uh, let's go with a size 9. But I don't like using that because that's what everybody else uses. So I'm just going to modify it pixel. So I'm different. Yeah. Okay. And so then, you know, just draw my, my voice bubbles in and it's on white. So we're going to fix that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, damn Wacom tablets. They uh they do print print pressure, so I just gotta set that up real quick. And that's usually something I always forget to do. I have to save my brushes, but I, I don't know where they are right now. And so we take all this other crap off and just go with the shape dynamics. And it's set for pen pressure, so now it's actually gonna work a little better for me. And sometimes I do like a chisel brush, you know, but I like to change it up all the time. Yeah, my, my Wacom tablet's a little jumpy. I think I'm gonna have to like zoom in like a lot more to not have that problem. You know, just basically like that. I'm trying to do this one handed though. It's kinda hard. Usually I hold my Wacom tablet with the other hand and I'm holding the microphone right now, so you guys are just gonna have to get get what you get. So there you go. That's basically how that's gonna work and then you know, come over here and just do something real quick to this. I can even do something like that, you know. And then just uh, erase this crap right here. And 
you see how that looks? See? Whoa. It looks so professional. Whoa. Yeah. So that's how you do it, guys. Um, you can probably change up, you know, change up the process to whatever, you know, however it will suit your needs. Uh, but this is basically how I do it each time. And, you know, if you have any questions or comments, you can just send me an email right to my email. It's uh, dynamites at gmail.com. All right, you guys have a good one.